flagship model, it also denotes, more importantly, that it uses Samsung's proprietary nanocrystal display technology. What that nanocrystal display technology allows you to do is it allows you to have a wider color gamut where you're going to have more contrast. You're also going to have brighter uh, luminance, approximately three times more light than organic LED. Uh, you also have 9% more color gamut than LED as well, or organic LED, excuse me. Um, and that, when those three picture quality elements are in place and they're tuned in unison, you are going to actually have preserved detail of an ultra high definition level that you come to expect from all Samsung UHD TV sets. So with those in place, we believe that it's going to be a, the best well-rounded picture quality package for a consumer in any light. So no longer do you just have to uh, enjoy great black levels, awesome contrast, and great color in a darkened setting. You can have ambient light uh, readily available with the screen, and that is part of the reason why um, the brightness is an important factor, along with obviously contrast, detail, and color. So what, what is the difference between an LED and a nanocrystal in TV? Uh, basically, with this particular model, I can tell you that we are utilizing a full backlit array of LEDs with local dimming. Uh -huh. However, um, we do still have the LCD panel, uh, but within that that sandwich of uh, how would you say the, the glass sandwich, we do have Samsung's nano crystal uh, technology as part of that, and that is uh, one of the technologies that allows it to achieve this picture quality. It's not the only one, but it is the foundation for the other technologies to build on. Okay. Uh, what about power consumption versus, um, versus OLED or LED? Um, as far as uh, organic LED, it would really depend on uh, on your nits that are coming out of that. The SUHD TV does have a peak nit factor of a thousand nits, which is well beyond the brightness of any other display that we've ever produced that's on the market. Um, it does have the capability of uh, uh, consuming the same, if not less, energy than LED. Okay. They're really bright, just amazing looking. And these are all 4K TVs, obviously. Um, as far as the LED and wide color LED, and obviously SUHD TV, yes, those are you ultra high definition 4K TVs. As far as the plasma display and organic LED, uh, I can't speak to the resolution of those. Okay, all right, thank you. Oh, what about gaming? As far as gaming goes, I believe it's going to have awesome uh, color replication for the games because uh, most games don't comply with Rec. 709, so that's not going to be a, a factor as far as that goes. So uh, the limitations of the panel will mo most likely uh, not necessarily come into play, but you'll actually see uh, color more readily expressed with that content. Uh, we do have UHD Alliance, which is getting everyone on board. You got it, you got it, you got it? Okay, cool. Which is getting everyone on board with the same content. Okay.